Okay everyone, so this is going to be my reaction video to the new film, The Land of Hope and Glory. So I'm watching it here, alright, on my laptop. Sorry about the lighting everyone, but you know, I'm watching a movie. This is going to be a real time response and reaction to this film that my friend and fellow activist uh, Ed Winters and his girlfriend Luna have worked very hard on. Let's see how powerful this movie is. The footage you're about to see is the reality of UK farming. Whoa. Oh my god. So what they're showing here is the pigs. I've got a real affinity with pigs, but just the dead piles where they just the dead the dead piles. Maggots and they're in their own feces and I'm sorry, but I have to stop that right there. They're just showing how He's showing how the pigs cannibalise each other. So there's just a dead pig that's been dead for God knows how long, and then the, the other pigs are just eating the, the dead pig. And then how they kill. Um, not sure if you know how they kill piglets. In the pork industry, they they kill them with blunt force trauma. So they grab them by the hind legs and they smash their their head on the ground. Horror! It's horrific to watch. I haven't I haven't actually seen that for a few months, and it just hit me a bit. Alright, so that was the pigs finished. That pig segment really... That really hurt me. A lot. And I could only imagine how hard it must have been to put that film together. I'm only a quarter way through it. And now we're up to cows. Cows are mammals who, like humans, only produce milk to feed their children. Okay, now we're on to the, the dairy. I'm glad that he put dairy as the first part for the cow segment. But like... I've seen a lot of this before, but... It's just a nightmare, you know? It's just a nightmare, like what is this nightmare that's happening in our reality? It's just, I don't know, it's just... It still baffles me that this is operating right now under our noses in the dark and majority of people don't know about it. Baffling. <sighs> okay, so we're just over halfway now and we're up to the chickens and the birds. Uh, ducks and turkeys. Just the, the horrific thing about chickens is that they're only like infants but they're in an adult body and they're just disfigured and their their legs are breaking underneath their weight they just can't suspend their weight and they're just crammed into these sheds sometimes 40 40,000 to 60,000 in a shed birds get treated so badly chickens raised for egg production are of a different breed to those raised for meat Okay, so that's the end of the film. What a powerful film. It was quite terrifying at times, but, you know, the reality of what's going on is terrifying, isn't it? I mean, it's not nice. It's not nice, and this is one that non-vegans really have to see. It's a bit, you know, if you're already vegan, it's going to be hard to watch, but I say if you can do it, watch it. Watch it, because it's going to give you more conviction as an activist, and, you know, we can't turn a blind eye to their suffering. If it's going to distress you too much, though, maybe not, but... You know, at least share it. If you can't watch it, then share it. Share it as much as you can. So I just want to say thank you to Ed and Luna for all your hard work in making that. That would have been very hard to make and very taxing on you. Um, but, you know, you're just two very courageous individuals and I thank you with the, from the bottom of my heart because that, that is a powerful tool we can use as activists and to spread this message. I mean, wow blown away so I'm gonna leave the link to the, the the movie in the description box down below now let's just use this as fire to fuel our activism we all need to get out there and help spread this message this is so urgent this is just so monumental the magnitude of what's going on is just beyond comprehension and it's just horrific it's just horrific and they need our help so get out there and help them